a video tutorial on how to create templates. So I'm not going to get into any styling. I'm mainly just going to cover how you create a template um, with various kinds of components. So you can see here that I have uh, three text components. I have two images, and I have even an audio component. Um, so by default, your cards are just going to have two components. I don't know why it's green. Just ignore that. Um, but by default, your cards usually have two components. So there, this works for most cases, but there are some cases where you'd rather have maybe three or four or some image components or some sound components or even video components. Um, so I'm going to show you how you can create, uh, just as an example, a template that works very well for studying kanji. Um, so firstly, let's just get rid of these existing components, and I'll just show you um, how to create them from scratch. So now we have a completely empty card. And let's just change the color to something a bit more appealing. All right. So we can go to down here and go to compose. So if you look at compose, um, this is where you can find lots and lots of components. So the first component here is a formatted text component. The second one is unformatted, and then there's RTF. So generally, you can ignore these other two. I usually just use HTML. Um, and this text component, this text input component, can also be useful for spelling items. Um, the text input component is basically something where you type, and then it just checks if it's correct. But it, it does take a bit more setup, so I wouldn't mess around with it unless you know what you're doing. So we have our first text component here, and I want two more. I'll just click it twice. So now I've got three very cool text components. So I'll just rearrange it a bit. So I have question, I've got answer, and then I have some sort of text component for the mnemonic I use which is also an answer, but I'd rather just have it be separated from uh, the actual answer. And let's just shorten that a bit. So let's see. So if I was remaking the previous card, then I would have Neko on the front as the question. And then I'm supposed to remember what that means. So it just means cat. That's my answer. So you need to make sure that since this isn't the answer, and you only want it to show up when you're answering, like after you've answered the question, you need to do right click and then check mark this answer box. Oops. Check mark this too. And oops, that's not what we want. We don't want them all to be answers, just that one. So now when we've uh, marked those two as answer, what you'll see is that the, the one we didn't mark as answer will just be shown as question, and then these two will show up. Um, after we've answered and graded the question. Um, so next step, so I have the, I have my mnemonic, I have my question, I have my answer. So now I want to add an image. Maybe I want to add the stroke order of this card. Then what I can do under compose is I can go to create an image component. There's a few other options here. There's create a sound, a video. Um, these ones are a bit more complicated. Um, but these, this one lets you put any file in, but just uh, to click and get connected to it. It doesn't let you use it inside Superman itself. Uh, these two I've never touched, and you'll probably not need them unless you're doing something very fancy. So now let's just add our image component, though. And I'll just make it a bit long because it's supposed to fit stroke order. And just get stroke order for this. I already have it in here, actually. And I'll just uh, use Win-Shift-S and then take a screenshot. And now I can paste it in. I have my, well, that's what you could do. This is just going to be a template, so you don't actually need an image in there. But now I have one image. And let's say that instead of just a image component for stroke order, I also want an image component uh, for Oops. 
for maybe a mnemonic image, like a picture of a cat itself. So I can add that, I can add that here. And now I roughly have the same amount, almost the same amount of components, though a bit of a different layout than the component I showed, or than the template I showed you before. And now the last thing that I just want to add that I'll probably never use since this is just a uh, card for kanji is an audio component. So an audio component, as the name suggests, is for audio. Um, you can see how to use audio components and to put stuff in in uh, one of the other videos. But now I have, whoops, let me just adjust this layout, drag this up. Now I have two image components, sound component, some text components, and roughly there you are. So now that I've set this up, I just want to save my very cool template. And to save this template, what you have to do is right click and make sure not to right click on any of the components. So if you right click on any of these components, um, then you'll get a different menu. So I have to right click somewhere empty on the card and then go to template, save as template. And I'll just name this kanji because this is my card for kanji. Um, and now let's say that I just apply my new kanji template. Then, bam. I, whoops, that's not the screen I wanted. Now I have my very cool template set up and working.